It's that time of year again, the State Fair of Texas 2024, and I am here and I am excited. This is my favorite event every year. Hey, welcome back to Brick Eats. I'm your host, Brian Brickman. That's right, baby. Oh, oh, we're going to be getting food today. We're starting off with a corny dong. We're going to be getting the, the Big Tex Choice Award winners. We're going to get the finalists. We're going to get all this food today, and we're going to check it out. I am so excited. Oh, let me get after this corny dog. You know you got to have a Fletcher's corny dog when you come to the State Fair. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah, look at that. Mmm. That is some good stuff right there. Mmm. There's a couple things that I'm really excited about. The uh, Dominican Futura dog, the uh, hippie chips, and the hot chicken popper. What? Hot chicken pancake poppers. I don't even know what that is, but I'm excited to try them all. I'm excited to show them all to you. There goes Big Jack, so I'm gonna get going. Let's go on to the first food. Next up on our fair food list is the Hippie Chips. This is at Bailey's in the food court area, which is jack full of people and you can't film in there. So, this is it. This is the Hippie Chips. This is, they are like a ruffled chips, like, uh, you know, Rigi Chips. Rigi Chips, is that a thing? Um, and they've got um, bacon, They've got some blue cheese crumbles. This one has ranch. It's got some green onions. I mean, look at that. That looks really good, doesn't it? I'm in an awful spot here. Look at this, look at this. All right, here we go. Here we go, check it out. Hippie chips. All right, now let's get a set you back about 12 tickets, but let's give it a try. Oh my God. It's actually really good. I was just thinking it'd be kind of like loaded chips. Mmm. With those green onions. Mmm, I love green onions. And I love this bacon. Look at this. Mmm. Oh my God, that bacon is so good. There's something different about it. I don't know. And then they got the ranch and the blue cheese crumbles. This is like the perfect combination of toppings for a chip. This is actually one of the lesser expensive dishes at the fair. So if you're just looking for a snack, you want some chips? Mmm, get over to Bailey's in the food court and you're gonna like these. Also in the food court is the Drowning Taquitos. Now this is located at Tony's Taco Shop and it's three taquitos and you can see in here, it's got like a guacamole sour cream mix with lettuce. It's got, uh, looks like the little cheese drizzle. It's got tomatoes. It's got everything you would expect in a rounding taquito. I'm trying to get a, I'm trying to get, let's see, you can see this. Here you go. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, there's big chunks of avocado in here too. Mmm. 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 Oh my God, the taquito is good. The taquito is excellent. It's a chicken taquito, you can see it in there. See it? And all this stuff that comes on it is. There's this avocado and this guacamole. Mm. This will set you back 20 tickets. But dang, this is really good. Oh my god. I am super impressed with this. This is, hey, you know what? It's better than a corn dog. Mm -hmm. And you can take that to the bank. <laughs> so get over to Tony's Taco Shop in the food court. Get the drowning taquitos. I can see why this is a finalist. This is, this is fabulous. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat it. I might eat the whole thing. I don't usually finish my food, so I might do that. This is, this is hard for me. I'm not gonna be able to waste this. So, hey, all right, come on, let's go get some more food. Next up on our list is the hot chicken pancake poppers. These are savory, they're sweet, and they're easy to eat. That rhymes, it's like, a, like Dr. Seuss wrote this description. These are authentic Nashville hot chicken and pimento cheese rolled up into a ball, dunked into pancake batter, and fried to a golden brown. I mean, you look at that, right? Uh-huh, topped with a drizzle of sriracha honey and a sprinkle of Nashville hot powdered sugar. Now these are at Palmer. Palmer's is an actual restaurant. There's a tons of these booths actually have restaurants around Dallas. Hell, there's a pizza place, uh, Texas Canna Pizza, something Texas something. It's over by Big Tex. They've got a spot up in Van Alstine they opened up. Brick and mortar. 
Hey, so there's a lot of places that you can get at the fair that you can get here. Wingfields has been here for years serving burgers. They got a spot down on uh, the Military Parkway. It's not Military Parkway, but it's down south of Oak Cliff. Um, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the hot chicken and pancake poppers. Look at this. It's a ball. It's a ball. These are actually huge, man. For 16 tickets, this is a big order of food. You see that? Oh my God. Okay, so I'm going to cut one in half-ish, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm just gonna grab it, tear it apart. And I'll show you where a clean bathroom is. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. oh dude. Look at that. Oh, hot, full of hot chicken. Mmm. 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 Oh my god. This is absolutely really good. Maybe for chicken and waffles. Why not chicken and pancake? I mean, the hot chicken comes through. That honey sriracha on top is so good. Oh, she told me. She told me to eat it with a couple of pickles. She said it's really good with pickles. Mmm. Out of everything I've eaten today, this is one of my favorites. This is good. This is actually a lot of food. Most of these things are a small amount of food for a lot of money. But this is actually a fair amount of food. This chicken is spicy. I love the Nashville flavor. I love that pimento cheese. I love it wrapped in a, a pancake. <laughs> and, uh, and that hot sriracha honey on top is really good. So, mmm. I gotta tell you, mmm. Mm. Oh, spicy, spicy. Oh, you gotta get a drink of beer. Yes, I'm telling you, this is one of my favorites. I'm not gonna say it's my total favorite yet because I haven't had everything yet, but I guarantee you this is gonna be one of my favorites in this video. So, hey, man, you can't beat that. I love it when I find a nice big plate of food that's good. Mmm. Now, this is down here at the Midway. Check this out. Go like that. No, no. Look that way. Okay, I'm at the very end of the midway. As a matter of fact, hold on. Check this out. I am right by the end of the Skyway. Okay? That's where you're gonna find this, down here at the end of the midway. So, if you come to the State Fair, check this out, you're gonna love it. I promise. Okay, so I wanna give you a tip on where a good bathroom is. A lot of the bathrooms out here are new. A lot of them are clean. Uh, but there's some older ones that aren't that great. But right here, if you come over here by this giant swing, and uh, there's a big Fletcher's corny dog thing right behind me, right next door is a brand new, well, maybe not brand new, but pretty new restroom facility. And it's clean and there's never a line. And it's air conditioned too. It's a complete place to cool off. There we go, chips from Brian Brick. Now, if you want to know where the cheap beer is, the cheap beer is right behind me at the beer barn. I can't see anything because of the glare off that sun, but it's right here in Cotton Bowl Plaza. That's right. You know where the Cotton Bowl is. The main steps and the main entrance to the Cotton Bowl. Let me see if I can get in here. Huh? Huh? Can you see it? Oh, yeah. That's right. This place is awesome, man. I am telling you, you can get domestic beers for six tickets. You can get the cheap beer, which is Lone Star, for four tickets. They have an, um, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, look at that, I'm in the way. Look at that, they got, they got carts going by. Apparently you gotta move. Um, but oh, what was I saying? Oh, I was saying that uh, they, uh, it's kind of hard to film here because it's so distracting. But uh, they have ranch water, frozen ranch water, which was a finalist in the State Fair foods category one time. And on a hot day, that ranch water with that tequila, man, oh, I'm telling you. So there you go. That's the first place to get cheap beer, Cotton Bowl Plaza. Cheap beer is over here in the kids' gaming area. This is the same company that owns the beer barn, and uh, they have the same cheap beer in special. So if you want cheap beer, these are the two places, cheapest places to get beer. Man, it's loud over here. There's all these games going on behind me. Oh, man, this place is crazy. Oh, I love it. 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 I got another beer, and uh, you know, hey, like I said, it used to be called six ticket beer, but now the six tickets are a buck a piece. 
Uh, they don't call it that anymore. They got the same selection. These are the two cheapest places to get it. So if you want cheap beer, this is where you're going to have to go. This one usually has less lines, though. That beer bar, man, lines it. Oh, so. Now you know. Now there's craft beer and there's stuff all over the place. There's beers for 16 tickets out here. So if you want cheap, you know what to do. Next up, we have burnt in bombs. That's right. Oh, burnt in bombs. Now these are over here at Burt. This is by all the animals and stuff. And uh, let me tell you, if you want to lose your appetite, there's a birthing barn in there. And uh, hey, life is beautiful, right? Life is beautiful. Um, watching life happen, not so beautiful. So don't go there before you eat. God, don't go there after you eat either. No, no, just don't go there at all. How's that? Okay, but I haven't been there, so I'm getting these burnt end bombs. Now these are, what's this, what this says? It says mouth-watering brisket wrapped in shredded potatoes, bacon, and cheese deep fried with a raspberry chipotle barbecue glaze to add the perfect touch of sweetness okay they gave me a fork but i don't need a fork this is finger food baby we're at the fair mm. Those are hot. Mm. first of all that burn in is solid and there is a lot of meat in there this is going to set you back 22 tickets but what do you expect man it's burnt ends wrapped in potatoes and bacon. Those potatoes are really good. They're really crispy. This is deep fried a lot. There's nothing to dip them in. They do have the raspberry chipotle on top. And that's pretty good. Overall, I love the idea. I love the concept. I love the glaze on top. The insides don't really do it for me. Sorry. Seems a little bland to me. For 22 tickets, I don't know. Just at my jam, I guess. Hey, that's why we try them though, right? All right. So remember, over by the birthing barn, you can find some burn in barn. But don't go to the birthing barn. Don't, trust me, I've been. I've been, you don't want to go. Stay out of there. Although the little chickens coming out of the eggs, that's kind of cute. But don't go past the chickens. You don't want to see the rest of it. I am here at the Magnolia Beer Garden and I have the winner of this sweet category. The Russo's Cotton Candy Bacon on a Stick. This is literally bacon coated in cotton candy on a stick. Hey, what's better at fair food than a stick? You gotta have a stick, okay? Everything at the fair should be on a stick. I'm just saying. All right, you ready for this? I love the way this bacon is cooked, by the way. Not too crispy. I mean, if you're gonna put it on a stick, it can't be that crispy, right? Oh, here we go, here we go. I wasn't sure what I was gonna think about this, but it's actually really good. Yeah, bacon is cooked exactly the way I like it. Not too crispy, not too raw, but kind of on the rare side. It's just how I like my bacon. And uh, the cotton candy gives it this sweet, sweet taste. Wow. Mm. I don't know what they season that bacon with, man, but I would eat that bacon by itself hell even with the cotton candy i'd put it on a cheeseburger man the winner of the 2024 sweet category is a hit i love it it combines two things that you should have at the fair meat on a stick and cotton candy there you go the winner hey get down to the fair and try this you're gonna like it winner. and now for the final food i have the winner of the savory category the Dominican Frutera dog. This is a Dominican salami with cheese in it uh, that's deep fried like a corn dog, then split open, topped with garlic, plantain chips, a uh, top secret Dominican sauce, cilantro. As you can see, it is. It's like a corn dog, just not on a stick, okay? So there's a Dominican sausage, and then there's the cheese, and this is the winner. This booth, I got here right at 10 to get this, um, and they weren't selling it yet. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Does that look good? I mean, it looks good. I don't know, gonna, let's try it. I don't know what that sauce is, but it's sweet. It's a top secret Dominican sauce. 
The sausage is really good. The cheese is really good. Um, deep fried like a corn dog. Let's see this. Let me see if I can get a chunk of. I don't want a chunk of that in. That Dominican sausage is really good. It's not too overpowering. You see it? You know, honestly, it doesn't have a whole lot of strong flavor profiles. Um, it just tastes like a fancy corn dog. So, there you go. Hey, but it's the winner. And you know what the winner does? The winner gets a lot of people. This is 16 tickets, and uh, you're, you're going to have to stand in line for this. So, that's how it goes. It's right over by the, uh, over by the Chevy main stage. So, there you go. If you come to the State Fair, you got to try the winner. you got to try the winner. You won't be disappointed. I mean, you're not, I'm not too excited about this, I'm not going to lie, but, and I kind of just want to eat the sausage out of it and be done with it. Are you filming? Mm-hmm. Huh? Are you filming? Mm-hmm. Can I say hi? Yeah, you want to say hi? Yeah, right, come on over here. Say hello. Hot tour for life! <laughs> yeah, there hot you go. Hot tour, hot tour. <laughs> there you go. Guest appearance by, what was your name? Hot tour. Hot tour, okay, all right. There you go. So that's, uh, hey, you never know what you're going to run into at the state fair. Crazy people out here. So get down, get this, try it. It's fine. It's uh, not my favorite, but it'll do. Hey, on to the next one. Or are we done? <gasps> Let's find out. So that's another year of the state fair. I'm about to go into the auto show where it's nice, cool, and air conditioning. Uh, as far as the winners go, I would say I was disappointed in the burn-in bombs. And the winner, the Dominican Futura dog, Futura dog, however you say that. But uh, the hippie chips are really good. My two favorites, I can't pick one because uh, one's more Mexican. The, the drowning taquitos, those taquitos were some of the best taquitos I think I've ever had in my life. And the uh, hot chicken and pancake poppers, man. Those were my two favorites. Oh, yeah, bacon on a stick, man. Or bacon, what was it? Cotton candy, bacon on a stick. That was really good too. As far as the sweets go, that was awesome. And uh, uh, that hot chicken and pancakes was awesome. And those taquitos, those drowned taquitos are badass. So those are my recommendations in 2024. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed it very much, as Jerry Jones might say. <laughs> and I'm gonna go find a new Chevy truck. Uh, I'm in the market, so I, I need to get a new vehicle. It's about damn time I get a new vehicle. So thanks so much for watching this video. Thanks so much for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate you. I appreciate all those likes, comments, and subscribe. And uh, hit that next video if you want to watch the next one right there. And until next time, keep going to the State Fair of Texas. I go every year, and we'll see you.